Ain't that beautiful? Guess we'll be getting our discharge papers any day now. I've been waiting for that for four years. Well, it's a great war while it lasted. What are you going to do when you get out, Bouncer? Well, I'll get back on the old job, I guess, at McGinty's Saloon. Throwing out drunks. Maybe there won't be no saloons. Oh, sure, there'll always be saloons. They'll call them buffets from now on. Huh? Buffets from now on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, buffets. Can that guy ride? You don't think they're calling Hellfire Austin for nothing, do you? Hellfire Austin. He's a great guy. I thought you two guys was always battling. Oh, sorta. But I'd kind of like to get on the right side of him. You would? Sure. Well, I can fix it up so you would be a friend with him for life. How? Well, out in our range, we have a sort of way of calling a guy pet names when, you, when, we, you know, when we like him a lot. Sort of buddy or pal, just like you say in the Army. Oh, I get you. Well, what do you call him? Sheep herder. Sheep herder. That's pretty. Sheep herder. Sheep herder. Sure you call him that and he'll fall right on, on your neck. Thanks, pal. Was the joke? <laughs> it won't be long now. That certainly is pretty, like Shepherd and the Good Boy. She played it. My last ride on you, old fella. Hello, bouncer. What do you say? Oh, sheep herder. What did you call me? Sheep herder. Say, fella, what did you sock me for? What did I sock you for? You called me a sheep herder, didn't you? Well, I was trying to be friendly like. Honest I was. Say, listen, you numbskull. But you know out in my country that's about 10 degrees worse than calling a man a horse thief? Why, that dirty cow catch in front of yours must have framed me. He said you'd like it. <laughs> oh, he thought I'd like it. Oh, well, I get my mitts on that guy. <laughs> And another thing, when you're out of here feeling a hundred percent, I'll hand you the niftiest licking you ever had. <laughs> You'd have to travel a mighty long way to do that. There's only one place in the world I'd ever feel that good. Where's that? West, out in the range country. West, huh? Yeah, out in my country. Say, you may not believe it, but I'm a pretty big guy out there. Everybody in the West knows Ken Austin. Boy, won't I be glad to get back. I bet they'll all be down the depot with a brass band when I get in. Red velvet carpet and all the fixings and everything. You wasn't figuring on going with me, was you, buddy? Who, me? Yeah. Go with you? Uh, I got some pride. <laughs> country. Sure good to be back. Say, what's the matter with you anyhow? I'm listening for that brass band you've been squawking about. <laughs> Say, listen, 
Just wait till they find out we're back, that's all. Oh, what a country. Look at them mountains, boy. Say, listen, take it from me, buddy. We're going to get a big hand. like no hand to me. I ought to give you that licking I promised you. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, can't give you no licking on an empty stomach. I guess you're right. Come on, let's go wrestle some grub. There you are. Sure, pretty, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Come on, let's go. Now, wait a minute, Bo. About this here breakfast business. What are we going to use for money? Money? Well, you don't need any money. Everybody around here knows Ken Olsen. All I got to do is walk right in that restaurant and just tell them who I am. Yeah, and then what? Then what? Well, they won't only give us breakfast. They'll give us the whole joint. Now, come on, will you? Well, what can I lose? my name, yeah. Ken Austin, the great Rodeo rider. You've heard of me, haven't you? Oh, sure, sure. Uh, you want something to eat? Sure, what do you got? Oh, I got a good bacon eggs, I got a ham and egg, I got the roast beef, I got strawberry pie, I got... Lay off, Mr. Please, you're breaking my heart. Well, you want something to eat? You come right over here, I'll fix you up a good. Come good on. boy, Tony. Yeah, you boys just sit down here. Everything's all right. I got everything fresh here, you know, it's good stuff. Hey, give me a program. Oh, sure, I'll fix you up a two, okay? All right. Say, Tony, let's don't fiddle around trying to read all that thing. You just use your own judgment. Only see that you bring plenty of it, you hear? Oh, sure. I fix you up a good. I give you a push class. Everything is all right. Are you watching for me? Get up, boy, Tony. All right. Told you, didn't I? Say, that boy don't know you from Adam. Listen, he just don't understand English, that's all. Yeah, I bet he understands enough to know what money means. Ah. Are you worried? Oh, look there. Good boy, huh? boy. How are we going to get out of here? Listen. I got an idea. We'll start a fight and work over towards the door and beat it. You, you think it'll work? Sure, it's got to work. It always works. Now go ahead and insult me. Go on, insult me. How? Listen, Mug, don't be funny now. Come on, call me a sheep herder. Listen, it's all right. We're just acting. We're playing this time. Go ahead. You dirty sheep herder. Who's a sheep herder? Don't fight. Please, 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 not so hard. Sorry, pal. No fights, gentlemen. Please, my restaurant, my place. Trying to get even? I didn't mean it, kid. One more sock and we're out. Come on. It always works. That's a swell gag. <laughs> Wasn't it, though? <laughs> about me. When the great Ken Austin gets back, they'll just give him the town. They'll go right down to that station to meet him. 
with a Wellwood carpet and a brass band. <laughs> you made no mistake about that band. It ain't brass. It's steel. Well, you didn't have to trail along now, did you? Say, you got a nerve. I gotta give you that licking I promised you. Hey, you fellas, cut out that argument. Get back to work. What's up that around? Hey, what do you think you're doing? I'll quit your grumbling, will you? What a beauty. Oh, it's just a horse. Say, you're the nuttiest guy about horses I ever seen. Say, listen. Come on, I want to get a better look at him. Hey, we can't leave here. They'll think we're trying to make a getaway. Ah, uh, sure we can. He's way around the bend there. Come on. Now, don't say I didn't warn you. We'll get life for this. if I could just own a horse like this? Ah, uh, you're screwy about horses. What a pony. Uh, excuse me, miss. Is it your horse? Yes. I never saw Tarzan make friends like that with a stranger before. He sure is a beauty, miss. He's the fastest horse in the country. I'm going to enter him in the cross-country sweepstakes next week. Is that so? Mm -hmm. Gee, I'd give my right arm to ride him. Are you a good rider? Say, lady, can he ride why well, I've uh, done a little riding in my time. You seem to have a way with horses. I guess it comes kind of natural. I was raised with them. Really? This, uh, working on the road's great exercise. Me and my partner here decided to take off a little excess weight. Yeah, about four dollars worth of ham and eggs. Hey, you fellas. Howdy, right, Miss Judy. Hello, Bill. Trying to make a getaway, will you? Get back down there where you belong. Come on. Come on. Get going. Bye, miss. Come Bye. on. Bye. Poor fellows. I guess we better be getting home, Miss Judy. All right. Come on, Tarzan. Get in there. Hey, listen, you fellas. Get back to work. If you try to make another getaway, I'm going to take a shot at you. Hey, Mr. Deputy. What was Miss Judy's other name? Brooks. She owns the Barbie Ranch over yonder. Oh. Say, listen here. I ain't here to answer your questions. Get to work. I suppose they're coming to hang us now. All right, Sheriff, take off the bracelets. What's the idea? My name's Edmonds. I've heard about you. And I thought you'd rather be breaking Bronx than rocks. Well, thanks, but... Uh, oh, it isn't a question of charity. 
You see, I need another good rider in the sweepstakes next week. I've heard all about your reputation. Gee, that's fine. Remember, young fellow, you are paroled to Mr. Edmonds for the next 60 days. I see. Instead of working out my time here, I'm working it out for you. Is that right? Yeah, that's it. Well, let's get started. What's the matter? Say, what about my partner back there? What, that? Yeah. Huh. I can't use that mug. Too bad. Too bad. He was a good guy, too. Hey, wait a minute. What's the idea? All right, you can put the braces back on now. Hey, wait a minute. You see, mister? It's both of us or none at all. We're closed corporation. We always travel in pairs. All right, turn them both loose then. Oh, hey. How are you doing? Huh? How are you working out? Oh, he's working out fine. Wait a minute, put a good time. Good, I'm glad of it. See, I'm expecting you to win this race, you know, Austin. Well, he's a pretty good horse. I'm going to try my best. Well, that's all I want. I think you'll do it. You can depend on me. All right, thanks. Hello, Hicks. Hello, Edmonds. Did you bring me that demand note on Judy Brooks, like I told you? Yes, but I don't know what you want with it now. He's not to present it until after the race. Yeah, well, that's my business, not yours. Say, what's your mark? I believe you're trying to beat that girl out of every dollar she's got in the now, world. Now, wait a minute. All I want out of you is legal advice. Now get out. Hey, Bouncer! Bouncer! Come on out here! I don't want it. Oh, come on out. Let me have a look at you. I feel like a darn sissy at this outfit. Oh, come on out. Let's see what you look like. Well, I hope you're satisfied. <laughs> oh, come on. You look all right. Look at the vest. A bouquet of pansies on it. And if you think I'm going to crawl under this teepee every day, well, you have to get me a squaw to keep me company. <laughs> hey, come on out. Uh, There's nothing like the old iron hat to give class. Looks like that 25000 is practically in the bank, huh? You know, Edmonds, it seems kind of funny to me, this girl thinking I'm training that horse for her. Yeah. Are you sure that nobody suspects that you're on my payroll? Not a chance. How about a little advance? Edmonds, I think you're giving that girl kind of a dirty deal. Well, I'll do keep in touch with me about that horse. Right. I guess we don't need to work here any longer, Bouncer. Come on, let's go have a showdown, Edmonds. Yes, sir. How are you coming to training, Austin? I'm sorry, Edmonds, but I'm mighty afraid my health's going to prevent my riding for you anymore. Well, what are you talking about? Well, you see, it's my stomach. There's some things my stomach can't stand. One of them is framing a woman. Framing a woman? Yeah. I suppose it don't concern me, huh? Well, it concerns me just enough that we're walking out. Yeah? Well, when you walk out, you go right back to the sheriff, and this time... You'll do six months instead of 60 days. I don't scare very easy, Edmonds. And anyhow, I think breaking rocks would be a pleasure beside working for you. Come on, Bouncer. So you think you're leaving, huh? 
Come on, boys. Come on, Baxter, shut that door, quick. There's a hole. Come on. Oh, all right, fellas. Come on, folks. Come on. 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 They are by that tree. Well, they tricked us. We've been following a couple of riderless horses. Chasing them horses. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> hey, wait up, will you? Where's the fire anyway? I want to get a look at that Tarzan horse. Horses, horses, all you think is horses. I bet you was sprung up on the back of a horse. Well, that may be funny to you, but that's just about the truth. B Ranch, huh? Nice looking place. Kind of looks like it's going to seed, though. Come on, let's see if we can get a look at that little Tarzan horse. You ought to be around back here somewhere. I tell you, you pulled a phone. You'll have us back on that rock pile. Oh, quit grabbing. Maybe I'd be better off as it is. Back there than breaking rocks with me feet like this. That whistle of yours sure gets results coming. Howdy, Miss Brooks. Oh, hello. I thought you were working for Mr. Edmund. Well, I... I was, but... I got my release from him, and I come over to ride Tarzan for you. Ride Tarzan? Sure. But you can't. I mean, uh, I mean, you'd get yourself into trouble with Mr. Edmund. Oh, Edmunds? Don't worry about him. I settled with him, all right. I say we settled him. Uh, as a matter of fact, we left with his blessings. Oh. Hallelujah. Got one of them right here in me lamp. Then, uh, then you'll really ride Tarzan for me? Sure, that's what I'm here for. Oh, that's grand. But I, uh... Well, I... I can't pay you. Oh, don't worry about that, Miss Brooks. Uh, this is a mighty nice place, ain't it? It's a shame to let it go to ruin this way. Well, you see, I... I was back east in school. Dad died, and... When I returned, I found it like this. Looks to me like what you need, Miss Brooks, is a foreman to get after these cowboys and get some things done around here. Yes. But you see, I've only Uncle Joe with me now. That's Father's old friend, and I... Well, he... Uh... I see. Say, where is that old Tarzan horse, anyhow? I want to get a look at him. Why, he was around here a minute ago. He's some horse. I guess he's out in the pasture. Hey, there's the old boy there now. Hey, is he some horse in what shape, huh? I gotta admit, he certainly is a beautiful animal. Isn't he? Sneaking up on me, give me a shove, huh? Hey, can I pet him or will he bite, huh? Well, he won't bite you. Oh, I'll go and get uh, your friend some shoes. Thanks. Thanks, lady. Come on, you want to go to the pasture some more, huh? Go on. Go on. Get going. Say, uh, listen, you can't stick around here and ride for no girl. You want to go back on that rock pile? Listen, this little girl's in trouble. We'd be a fine pair to walk out on her now, wouldn't we? Hey, we got troubles of our own. I promised to ride for her, and I'm going to do it. Well, I'm pulling out. Well, walking out on me, huh? Walking? I'm running. You're a fine pal now, ain't you? Pal? Say, so you got a lot of noise calling me pal just because you got a speaking acquaintance. Hope they'll see it. Thanks, lady. They're a pair of father's old Congress gators. I wonder if them's the kind me butter Alec used to have. No, them was Alec gators. <laughs> Sup, 
breakfast ready. You can come in whenever you want to. Thanks, miss. I'll go to the bunkhouse and wash up and be right in. All right. Uncle Joe, I told you our luck was going to change. Ken Austell's here and he's going to ride Tarzan. You always wanted a pile, didn't you? And what you do with them when you got them? You walked out on them. <laughs> I'll kick your teeth down your lion throat. I'll knock you. You know what I was doing? I was rehearsing what I was going to say to you. Uh-huh. Come on. Let's go put on the feed bag. <laughs> Say, that's the guy that... All right, Curly. Well, what are you doing here? The boss sent me. I got something to hand you. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that a good one? <laughs> you see, the idea is this. We're organizing a quartet for the sweepstakes, and we want to know, can you sing tenor? Can you? Can I sing tenor? Say, you just listen. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold it. We're going to give you an audition right away, partner. <laughs> well, that's great. <laughs> Well, uh, do I sing now? We can't use him, he's a bass. about horses. You know, over in France, he never went out with them mamazelles. He'd rather go riding any day. As a matter of fact, he ain't got no use for women at all. <laughs> Old pal. That was a wonderful ride. Tarzan's a wonderful horse. Uncle Joe would... Will you put Tarzan in the corral for me? Yes, sure. You're not so worried about the race now, are you, Miss Judy? Not a bit. I'm sure you're going to win. We're going to try. Gee, it's a sure swell place around here. Bet you like it a lot, don't you? Indeed, I do. Mother and Dad were married in that house. And Father was alive. This was a mighty busy place. I got a hunch it's gonna be busy again. Plenty busy. Sounding leather all day long, just a swing. 
She was mine. The moon? Oh, no. Miss Jenny, I guess I was wool gathering a little. I, I was thinking about Tarzan. Well, you're not supposed to talk about horses when you're walking in the moonlight with a young lady. Well, I know it. I guess my mind was just wandering, that's all. <laughs> Well, I'm first rate, honey, but you're in a jam. What? You know that note you gave to Edmund? On Tarzan, you mean? Yes. Well, he's on his way out here now to collect it. Well, he can't. Oh, well, yes, he can. For that note was made payable on demand. You mean if I can't pay, he'll take Tarzan before the race? But he, he promised he wouldn't. Yeah, I know that's what he told you. But this thing will frame up all the way from the start. Now, he knew, honey, that you wouldn't have that money to pay him when the note was due. So he figured that he'd get Tarzan and enter him in the race himself. Well, the dirty rat! And there's, there's nothing I can do to prevent it? <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> he ain't so doggone smart as he thinks he is. Now, me being a lawyer, I know a few law tricks myself. Now, you and Tarzan have got to disappear until that race starts. But well, what good will that do? Why, don't you see, honey? If he can't find you, then he can't present the papers. And if he can't find Tarzan, why, then he can't get him, see? <laughs> You've got to come with me now. Yes, but, uh, what about Tarzan? Don't worry, Miss Judy. I'll hide Tarzan out for you. <laughs> now, have him in time for the race. Can find that Tarzan. Haven't got a minute to lose. Come on, get in here, quick. Hey, Miss Brooks, I want to see you. Stop that girl, boys. Get those two guys there. Come on, Sheriff. Gang entertained for a few minutes. I'll get Tarzan and we'll make a getaway. Savvy, kid? to Sentinel Pass, boys. They've got to go through there to get to the county seat and see that Austin doesn't get through.
I remember, fellas. No slip-up. The boss said to get Austin. But be careful that nothing happens to Tarzan. Say, fellas, somebody's coming down the road now. Hey, cutie. See anything of a couple of fellas with a white horse? He's deep and dumb, fellas. Get up, you. Hey, you. Oh, boy, I'll get this black off of you. <laughs> that certainly was a great idea of yours, painting Tarzan black. And I tell you to stay out of that hole. What are you running around out there for? Suppose they trailed you. Nobody's seen me. Well, they might have. Come on, give me a hand on this. I had a tough enough time getting that up. Oh, boy, who? Who? Ah, that's money I hate in this old land now. <laughs> Gee, this sure is a laugh turning the bridal suit into a stable. <laughs> Be an even bigger laugh if Edmonds knew he was right over his head. <laughs> Edmonds? Sure. He just come in downstairs. He did? We gotta be careful. Gee, I hope Miss Judy entered Tarzan all right. 
Come on, Bouncer. Trying to win them sweepstakes again this year, are you? You can bet your bottom dollar I am. Yeah. Yep, Miss Brooks is already registered. What? That's right, there it is, number four. Did she pay her entrance fee? Yep, about an hour ago. Well, see you again, Edwin. Tarzan horse yet? We've searched every stable in the town. There's not a sign of the horse. What about Austin? Well, he did a vanishing act, too. We'll get him. The boys are watching all the roads leading into town. And watch every street in the town, too. Hey, Ken, look. Old man Hicks. Yeah. Listen, I got an idea. Come on. Well, hello, Sheriff. Well, morning, Hicks. Have you found on young Austin yet? No, not yet, but we'll get him. I got the posse out scouring the country for him now. And what, Tarzan? Have, have you found Tarzan yet? No, but I figure when we get the man, we'll find the horse, too. You know, by gosh, Sheriff, I'd like to see Tarzan win that race. Well, between you and me, Hicks, I'd like to see him win it, too. Yeah, besides that. Why, if that horse got in there and won that race, Judy could pay up all the debt she had. You know, Hicks, what I'd like to see... A Now sit down and rest yourself, Mr. Hicks. Sorry, I had to be kind of rough with you. Kind of? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I've been looking all over for you. Yes, and I've been looking for you, Austin. Say, where's Tarzan? Tarzan? Oh, don't worry about him. He's right in the next room there. In the next room? Yeah. A horse in a hotel room? That's just it. Last place in the world you look for a horse in a hotel room, ain't it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Say, listen, I've been worried. I haven't heard anything. Miss Julia registered. Is everything all right? Yes, Miss Julia's registered. And here's your number. Good. Well, number four, huh? I got a hunch that's my lucky number. Yeah, well, that might be your lucky number. But do you understand, young fella, that the sheriff has got a posse out home in this town for you? Sheriff, huh? Yeah. Yeah, and there's that suspended sentence hanging over you, remember? You haven't only got that minister buck now, but you got the law. Well, I wouldn't be a bit surprised they'll nab you tomorrow morning when you enter that race. Yeah. That suspended sentence does make things bad, all right. Don't you tell Miss Judy anything about this, though. She has enough worries of her own. Now, you tell her everything's all right and that I'll be there. Do you hear? All right. Yeah. Well, good luck to you, Austin. Thanks, I may need it. Wait just a minute now. I take a look. I'll be rooting for you tomorrow. Yeah. We're in a pretty tough spot, soldier. That's Sheriff. He's got me worried. If it's just something, if, it, if there's some way... You're we'll... the world's champion sap. I told you we'd get in this mess. No girl's worth it, I tell you. Well, listen, kid. I'm hey. sick of everything. I'm gonna blow.
like we got this race about one. Yeah. Hey, there goes that fellow now. Go get Edmonds. All right. After a while. See, where's that fellow? Wait a minute, Sheriff. Now listen. Can one guy serve two sentences? What do you mean? Well, my pal got 60 days, and I got 60 days. Now, can I serve 120 days, and you lay off for him? That ain't the law. Oh, Sheriff. It ain't for him. It's for Miss Judy. He's just got to win that race for her. Or she'll lose everything. Come on, Sheriff. Be a sport. I'd like to do anything I could to help Miss Judy, but mm -mm. Oh, Sheriff, you just gotta. Please. Well, maybe we can fix it. Oh, Sheriff. Thanks. I never liked coppers, but you're a great guy. I'm going over and tell me, pal, everything's okay. I'll be right back. Most too. Hey, Jim. Bouncer. What's the matter? Bouncer. 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 What happened, kid? Sheriff. Sheriff. Let me serve both sentences. Me and me pals. He's got a ride. He's got a ride tomorrow. For Miss Judy, I tell you. Give me 120 days. You lay off for him. Lay off me, I tell you. Get away from me. No, I won't talk. I won't talk. I ain't... You can't make me talk. Easy, Bouncer. Easy, kid. It's me. I'm gonna fix you up. You're gonna be all right now. You hear? Huh? Better? So Edmund's gang got a hold of you, huh? They took a beating, didn't you? They took it from me. I understand the whole thing now. You're crazy. I fell downstairs and hit my head. Yes, but something hit you before. Didn't it? Didn't it? Well, listen, I'm going out and mop up on that gang. They can't beat a pal of mine up that way and get away with it. You, Never. You got a lot of crush calling me pal. Well, oh, I ain't no pal of yours. <laughs> me taking licking for you? <laughs> That's a laugh. I ran into a door, I tell you. I ran into a door. Yes, I know. A door.
pretty bad shape, ain't he? Listen here, Doc. You've got to pull him through. You've got to do it now. I'm to blame. It's all my fault that he got hurt in the first place. Here, I never forgive myself he didn't pull through. Well, I'd feel like... Like I'd murdered him, that's all. Yes, yes, I'll do my best. Now, listen here. If he's not up and chirping when I get back, well, he just better be, that's all. right here in this hotel. Right there in that window. What, that window? Yeah. Hey, a couple of you boys go around the back door, and the rest of you come on with me. Now search every room in this hotel and you'll find that horse. All right, boss. Come on, boy. Don't you worry, honey. Handle be in that race with that horse now. Don't worry. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the big event of the rain country. The Cactus Mill sweepstakes. There's a one lap around the track. Then I tail it into the open. To a section the most dangerous second part of the country. That seems to the utmost, the endurance of man and beast. Doesn't look like that fellow horse is going to get here. If he does get here, remember Edmund's orders. See that he doesn't finish this race, and anything goes. There they are, ladies and gentlemen. The best riders in the state. Give my big hand. They're all set and ready to go, except Ken Austin, who rides Tarzan. Get that horse up there, number two. Ready? Why isn't he here? I can't understand.
Judges stand. They just passed the first quarter. Edmonds pinned O leading. Tarzan coming up fast. Austin, who's down at last, is moving up. He's gaining. He's gaining. Edmonds pinned O is leading. Operator. Operator. Clear that wire, will you? I was talking to the racetrack. Please, you must be quiet. You're a sick man. What in your lip, will you? No, not you. Is this the track? Say, where's me pal? He's riding Tarzan. Shopping when he comes back, I'll be croaking. Croak then. Where's me pal now? Oh, please, you must be quiet. That's what they've done. They framed them. I'll get them for this.
for Bouncer. So I says to the girl, I'm willing to do the right, right thing. And the old man, he wouldn't let her marry me. <laughs> well, here's to the old man. Wait a minute. Always drink the ladies. Ah. Well, here's to everybody. Everybody. <laughs> you old son of a gun, you. Right when I figured you might have passed out. Me pass out? Say, listen, maybe the doc has passed out, but I was just getting in shape to give you that... that all messed up. You're a great kidder, ain't you, but huh? you can count on it. You'll get it another time. <laughs> Doc, how I hate that.